This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button for up-to-date immigration news. And if you have an immigration problem, please get in touch with me. Today, I'm going to be talking about a further humiliation for Cruella and the Home Office as they are ordered to pay uh, thousands of pounds to asylum seekers by the Court of Appeal. Uh, the Court of Appeal uh, ordered that thousands of pounds are, uh, be paid in backdated payments to asylum seekers who had made trafficking claims during the first lockdown in 2020. The court uh, comprehensively rejected the Home Office's appeals in this case, which is a positive result for asylum seekers who have wrongly been deprived of the support that they were entitled to by law. The name of the relevant case uh, is J.B. Garner, and it was recently decided by the Court of Appeal. The background to this is that the, 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 the claimant in this case um, was an asylum seeker who was also referred to the NRM, which is the National Referral Mechanism, and who received a positive reasonable grounds uh, decision which identified him as a potential victim of trafficking, a very serious uh, matter. He applied for asylum support, as entitled to, in March 2020 and was granted temporary accommodation and £35 a week in subsistence payments, not exactly a huge sum. He lodged a judicial review on the grounds that he should have been entitled to £65 a week under the provisions of the Modern Slavery Act, i.e. the law. <clears throat> the issue in the case was that the amounts payable in, to people in JB's situation are different depending on whether or not they are uh, in catered or self-catered accommodation. Those in self-catered accommodation are entitled to more payments. Covid obviously meant that more people were placed in catered hotels than normal. These people saw their payments.